Hey guys, welcome back. I am popping on today to do a layout for challenge accepted with my pal Scrappy Kathy and I am using my happy heart kit that I got from Brianna Lepper. Um, they are still some kits available. It was for a class, so it's a class kit, but I also got a second kit because I love the product. There's mixed media goodies and sparkly things and tangled thread, the whole thing. So I am sorting out what I have a little bit. So for challenge accepted for this round, we are doing um, scrap a sketch sketches that Lisa Sikorsky creates a sketch, but this time around we have a theme. So I think it's super fun that way. I'm trying to see what my full size sheets are. There's a theme and the theme is spring. So I'm like, okay, perfect. So this kit, it is from the Happy Hearts collection. It's full of spring happiness and goodness. There's butterflies and florals and all kinds of cuteness. So look, we even get a stencil with our stuff in, in ink in things. Yep. It's very soft. Anywho. So let me show you the sketch that we are working on. I was trying to get recombobulated because I was discombobulated. Not sure if that's a thing. Okay. Background. Nice big block, another block, a third block. And then those three blocks are also over here title bits in the center and some embellishing. Awesome. Mix that with spring and great goodies from Pink Brush. Voila. So this right here, these are my daffodils and this was March 28th of last year and they just started popping through. I had planted them in the fall and you're always wondering when you plant bulbs if they're going to cooperate and they did. So, and this is printed out on the um, card size for the Canon selfie, which I have lots and lots of these. See, they're little label stickers. It's kind of cool. I don't know. I have tons of boxes of them and I have now decided to actually use them. Good plan. Okay, I have that. I have this collection. So, trying to think. Now, this is freakishly gorgeous paper, so why don't I use this white for my background? Great. Then, ooh, guys, and look at this. I wanna show you this one piece of paper. It's called Beautiful Moments with these butterflies. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I have all of these die cuts, which are very springy, but look at this. Okay, I'm gonna figure it out as I go. All right, so I have this for my background. Now I need a couple of patterns to do. Ooh, that's pretty. So I could do the big block. Do I wanna do it in the pink? Probably because I want this yellow to be a thing that's right here. So let's go ahead and do a nice chunk of that. You can do the chunk or chunk. And that's, I'm going to go five inches-ish from our sketch. And then I'm going to go 11. So five by 11 will be my ish. Great. Now the back side of this paper is gorgeous blue. So I'm gonna do my next block. Do I wanna do that? Or I can have my third little block and just slice right there. I think I'll do that. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I'll do my third block and do I wanna do that? Okay, I know I need another piece of this that's gonna be pretty long because that goes on the other side. So let's get that really quickly before I chop this paper up too much because, you know, it's super pretty. Okay, so that goes over there. Now we can start doing the next size. Oh, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna go three inches with that next block and I'm going to go like, I think three by 10, I think. Should I do three by 10? It seems like that would be a good size. Okay. Voila, there's that block right there. Awesome. So then I need another one on the other side. So same kind of thing. I'm gonna just keep going. Let's get a nice little chunk of this. Ooh, I'm using up this piece. It's almost sad because it's so pretty that I don't wanna use it, but I always push through and use them because otherwise 
I will have tons and tons and tons of paper. Okay, I need a third piece that would go kind of over the two of them. So, not gonna use another blue, but that is beyond gorgeous. Oh, the pink. So I have the pink. I've got this piece with these, oh, mm-hmm. Um, I don't think that gets to get used right now. And this is amazing because it has all these cut aparts, guys. Although I do like the vibe. So what I'm gonna do is some of this pink. I'm gonna use the pink because I'm gonna do a little mixed media in this bit here because I freak out from white space. White space is a very complicated issue of mine. It's really not. I just love patterns so much. Okay, so let's see. So the last one was like by 10 inches. So I want to come in and do one yeah, right there, right where my fingernail is. Let's see what that is. It is like seven inches, great. So that's gonna do that piece. And then I will use some of that remaining gorgeous pink ness that was down here. I think I will use a little piece of that on that side. There we go. Pretty, pretty with pretty. Okay, so then that piece goes right here. Great. My photo, which, you know, I have to go ahead and map my photo and then I have to pick out some embellishments but what I think I need to do next is I'm going to take my handy dandy little stencil and do a little bit of stencil work right between so I know I can go like this and I can go like this and I'll be pretty darn happy with the placement so let me do that I'm gonna get these pieces stuck down and I'll be back in a jiffy I have some nice traction going I have all my pieces down for my background I created three cute little shaker pockets with the sequins that came in my kit. And I, one, two, three, four, I quadruple matted my cute little square photo. So I have that. Now what I have to do is come up with my title, which I'm hoping that I can find something in here or in my die cuts. Yeah. Um, ooh, I can use some pretty thread, the pink and the yellow, I bet maybe the blue over here. So I'm gonna have my tangled thread, awesome. And I wanna go through my die cuts and figure out what I wanna build out. Now, if you remember, let me show you the sketch one more time. If you remember, our sketch had these two nice cluster, oh, sorry about that. These two nice clusters and this heart is where I'm putting that smaller shaker I made. And I just want to get some like die cuts, ephemera, whatevs, in those two places and where it reads title right here, journaling, 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 you can see I went ahead and used the stencil that came with my kit, this one right here, to create pattern on my background because clearly I cannot handle just plain white. It's true. Oh, and I didn't tell you, the two pink fresh inks I am using are Sparkling Rose and Bubblegum. One came with this kit and one came with the one when I took the four layout class. Okay, I'm gonna get back to it. So I thought I'd show you what I'm vibing on this. I mean, guys, look at, is this like the cutest little shaker pocket ever? So I have that, I'm gonna find some die cuts and I'll be right back. All right, so I have everything stuck down. I have my title here, which looks beautiful. Actually, I like it on top of the mixed media. I wouldn't want the white on the white, but I do like that I have the two tones of ink in play there. So now what I need to do, I've got all these pieces down. I, I like where it's all going. Some of my pieces still are, you know, have wet glue. I've got my tangled thread, which is fun and it's giving me some texture. So at this point, I've gone through my die cuts and I've used what I wanted. I definitely hit the spring theme. We have Brand new daffodils coming up and spring is here. This reads bring in spring in this cluster. So I'm liking that. So what I wanna do is see if there's, ooh, this word right here reads grow. That is awesome. I'm gonna put that right here. I'm in the center of my photo cluster here, or not my photo cluster, in the center of my photo because cute little plant is growing. 
stay on the sunny side. I'm just seeing if there's any little bits. Ooh, see how this has that little butterfly? I like the idea of bringing that same circle at, in a different size over there. So what I'm gonna do is grab the third circle that I have and make sure to have it in this cluster over here. Okay, I'm gonna keep building and I will be back at the end. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do white splatty bits or not. I'm gonna see how this goes with building up my clusters. Okay, so I am finished. I like all my little bits and, and shiny things. You know what I'm not? I have something else I need to add, which I will add on in the still shots. Where are, oh, let me add these. I've got these little pretty sparkly bits. These are the Glacier Gems from Pink Fresh. Okay, I'm gonna add those in a minute, but since I already have my splatty bits ready, actually this is about the perfect size, I'm gonna go ahead and just splat on some white splatty bits. I am using Golden Matte Acrylics and Titanium white. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and get splatty bits on here, get my Glacier Gems. I was like, what is missing? And I think a little bling bling is what I am needing. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I will have still shots for you guys in just a moment. Oh, I'm going to also put the link to the YouTube video where uh, Brianna explains everything about her class and where you can get the kit and all of that good stuff. So I'll have that down below and I will have the Scrap a Sketch website so you can play along with this, these great sketch challenges. It's like easily my favorite sketch group because Lisa is a very talented. So that is that. I'm going to get a little bit of bling bling on here and yeah, if you guys have questions, leave it down below. If I don't get back to you as you know quick enough because i've been so busy lately go ahead and pm me so i can uh i'll get back to you that way okay that's it for now friends